and welcome to the Nuclear Snail channel. Today we're going to be trying out Rust Lacquer, which is a method of covering your stuff that otherwise would not rust in rust. It's a small can like this uh, with a, yeah, the lacquer, which contains really fine metal powder in this and some corrosive agent. I will get to all of this in a sec. Here are the items which we are going to rust up. A Nerf gun, an aluminum clip from the Koppeltragegestell, which as you remember are those um, belts and buckles from the German army, which I use everywhere. This pig lamp made out of plastic, because this pig has seen some serious shit, and the way it looks needs to reflect it. A piece of shoulder armor. This is made out of plastic and actually has some primer on it. And some bags. I actually want to see how the rust lacquer behaves on thick military fabric like this. And a piece of EVA foam, because I wonder if the corrosive agent will just destroy it entirely. I want to find out if you can use rust lacquer with EVA. Because it's the first time in my life today that I'm working with a rust lacquer. I've never done this before. Alright, let's just go ahead and see what results we get from rusting up those items with the rust lacquer. So the first key thing to know about this is that you need to mix it a lot, all the time, before every application. Because those uh, fine uh, metal particles, they just go to the bottom of the can and you have to mix it very thoroughly, very often, every time before you dip your sponge or brush into it. Otherwise you will not get a good result, because then all those uh, metal particles will not be on your brush. So I am not showing you all the times I'm mixing, but trust me, you need to do this before every application and do it very thoroughly. I cannot emphasize that enough. So yeah, I'm gonna apply two coats and you see me applying the first coat right here. And I also added another item I wanted to try it on, which is a piece of an old boot, because I wanted to see how it looks on leather. And here you see me showing you how it looks with the first coat applied and dried. After it's dried up a bit, I'm putting on all of my protective gear and using the corrosive agent, which is an acid. It is not the kind of an acid, at least not this one, uh, that will eat a hole into everything it touches, but you still do not want it on your hands, in your eyes, uh, or you also definitely don't want its vapors inside of your lungs. So after I applied the corrosive agent, I uh, let the whole thing dry for an hour or so and then I apply another thicker coat to all of my items. Surprisingly enough, that piece of EVA foam did not get corroded by the corrosive agent even one bit. I expected it to just dissolve, but it did not. It took no damage whatsoever. And there is another cool part I found. This is how it looks with the two layers applied, one of them being really thick. And now I'm gonna apply some corrosive agent to this, this time also using more of that. And in these pics you see how it looks right after that. So let the process begin. The instruction manual said I should see the first results after 2-4 to four hours. That did not happen. I actually left my items overnight on my balcony. But then I left them overnight again. So it's basically after 2 days. And this rust is actually live. It's developing. It's, you know, rusting, oxidating. It's great. Anyway, at the end you're supposed to uh, rinse it with water. So I did that and uh, rinsing it with water also made it rust a bit more. So to sum it up, rust lacquer really did a great job on my hard surfaces. Or it's EVA, it's not actually hard, but if I did not tell you this is EVA foam, 
then you would probably think it's a piece of thick steel or something like that. So cosplayers, you can really fool people into thinking your stuff is metal with this. Unless you have an actual metallic surface which you can rust, rust lacquer is really the way to go for other materials that you want to make look rusty. I mean this looks cool. Beware however that there are some cheaper uh, rust paints which do not actually contain metallic particles which are just you know some brownish sludge and those tend to be a lot cheaper and they do not give you that result. Those are uh, mainly used for uh, like painting your wall to look like rust but it does not actually look like that then. So yeah rust lacquer is expensive it's a specialty tool or a specialty lacquer but if you want to achieve this sort of effects, then definitely give it a try. Uh, now the only reason I tried it out on uh, soft fabrics and on leather was that some people do it and I wanted to try it out for myself and I don't know if it's uh, my mistake or what but I'm not really happy with the results here because for the most part, especially on this bag, it's just this monochromous uh, brownish look and that is definitely not as cool as these really nice uh, live looking rust color variations on the hard surfaces. Uh, but again it might just be me, uh, but I personally uh, also prefer not wearing actual rust on my body. For me personally I will stay with the methods I used before for soft fabrics, but for hard surfaces when I wanted to make it look rusty yeah. Now you might also think, what about that pig lamp that I've showed at the beginning? Didn't I want to distress this? But you did not really think I would distress Mrs. Piggy, did you? Oh, you did? Oh, Mrs. Piggy is telling me that it's really rude of you to think that of me, to think me a barbarian. I'm a gentleman and I would never distress Mrs. Piggy. So the only way for you to remedy this impression and to stand as a good person again in the eyes and nose lamps of Mrs. Piggy is to support me on Patreon. It's the first link in the video description. Yes, you got it right. I am pig lamp guilt tripping you into supporting me on Patreon. Do it now! So follow that link, support me on Patreon. Even one dollar a month helps me a lot to make more of these videos for you. Also like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and your crafting group and your tribe and whatnot. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, hail the snail.